Alright guys, so a few weeks ago I promised that one day I'd show you the code behind the Minecraft castle and today is that day. So right, let's begin. We're going to start with the basic position class. This will have an X, Y and Z as well as a method to add an offset and return it as a new position. Then we can create an abstract base class which has a position and an abstract render method. All other classes will inherit from this. Now for some real code and we're going to start with a cube. This will have a width, height, depth and a block type. Technically it's actually a cuboid, but cube is easier to type, so let's go with that. For rendering, we're going to use nested for loops and then set a block at each position. Okay, let's create an outer wall. So we'll have a length and a direction, which will be one of the four compass points. So let's create an enum for that first. We can simplify the logic a lot if we only care about north and east. So if we are given south, then we will translate the starting point by the length and then change the direction to north. And then we'll do the same with west, translating and then changing to east. In terms of rendering, we'll split this between north and east and just render a cube that is the right length, a depth of three and a height of five. Then we can add a wooden walkway to the top. Now we have to add some battlements, so we'll create a separate class for this. And just like the outer wall, it will have a length and direction and we'll convert south and west directions over to north and east. Then for actually rendering, we'll set every other block to stone, and then every block in between those as a torch. Okay, now we have a battlements class, we can add it to the outer wall. And there we have it, an outer wall, all that's missing now is an entrance. So to set an entrance, we'll track it with a boolean, and then create a setter method for it, which returns itself so we can chain multiple setters together. Then if include entrance is set to true, then we'll render air blocks in the wall and surround it by fence posts. Finally, we can create all four walls from our program class and put an entrance in the first one. Okay, time to deal with corners. So we'll create a new class for this. This will have an array of directions as each corner will be located as a combination of two of them. Then for rendering, we'll create a bunch of walls that will be the sides, as well as one for the floor, which will be wood planks then finish with some battlements. Of course, we want gaps in the battlements where it joins the walls, so we will spin through each direction, remove the fence, and set the floor to be a plank. Okay, outer wall is done, so let's move on to the inner wall. We'll create a new class for this, and just like before, it will have a length and direction. And we'll convert south to north and west to east as well. We'll include an entrance setter method, and then rendering is pretty much the same as the outer wall except it's even easier as now it's only one block wide. Then finally some battlements. Okay, for the central room, we'll split this into layers. Each layer will have a position and a width. We'll start by drawing the walls, then some battlements, then a floor and ceiling, and finally an entrance. In terms of actually rendering, we'll just call the render layer function a bunch of times, making the width smaller with each iteration. All that's left is to add some torches, and to do this, we'll go back to the Battlements class and add a torch on top of every fence post. I think that's everything. And I've chucked the code up on GitHub so you guys can run it yourselves and tweak it and have fun. So hit the link in the description. And you might as well hit like and subscribe while you're there. And don't forget to leave any feedback in the comments. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Take care.